And we finally got our answer this week to the question that I know has been keeping all of you up at night now for many years. I've been wondering myself, why does The Undertaker hate cucumbers? Now, I hate cucumbers too, which is weird because I like pickles, but I've never liked cucumbers. I don't like the taste of them. I don't like the sight of them. I'm not afraid of them. I wasn't traumatized by them like this man was, but I don't like them either. But the stories about The Undertaker and cucumbers have become the stuff of legend, really thanks to Paul Bear, who told some stories and shoot interviews years ago about it. Otherwise, I'm not sure anybody would even know to ask about this. Uh, he used to rib The Undertaker constantly over. He would slip cucumbers into his hat and his gloves. Uh, one time at a Waffle House, Undertaker puked all over the place because there was a cucumber floating in his iced tea. I think that was Owen Hart. I think he placed uh, cucumber slices at the bottom. So as he drank it, he eventually came face to face with the cucumbers and then he proceeded to lose his lunch. Uh, or breakfast, or dinner, or whatever meal it was they were having. The worst thing Paul Bear could have done was tell Owen Hart, of all people, about Undertaker's hatred or or his his fear of cucumbers. Uh, Owen was, I mean, the ultimate prankster. I can imagine his face just lighting up like a Christmas tree the minute he found out about this. He's like, I need to get to work. Uh, Owen went out to the ring once against Undertaker at a house show, and he had a... <laughs> I so wish there was footage of this. But apparently he had a a cucumber hidden on him when he came to the ring. And when he got inside, he dropped to one knee like the Undertaker used to do when he would salute the urn. Uh, but it was a cucumber instead. And Undertaker was pissed. Uh, but anyway, Undertaker was asked about the genesis of his hatred for cucumbers during a recent Patreon Q&A for his Six Feet Under with Mark Calloway podcast. And this was his response in the man's own words. I don't even like talking about the cucumbers, man. All right, here it is. When I was just a wee little undertaker, like a kindergarten first grade undertaker, I come home from school one day. My mother had taken a bunch of fresh cucumbers and cut them up into slices and had them soaking in a big bowl of vinegar. At that time, it was the greatest thing ever. So I proceeded to eat the whole bowl of cucumbers soaked in vinegar. Well, something about that didn't settle well with my stomach. Shortly after I ate all the cucumbers, I expelled all of the contents of my stomach. From that moment on, the smell, for a long time even to see a cucumber, I would get somewhat, I wouldn't say nauseous, but queasy. Smell a cucumber? Forget about it. My stomach is just like, nope. It's like my mouth starts watering. So that's why I hate cucumbers, because I ate too many ones as a child that left a horrible, horrible scar in my memory of how bad I threw up. Then just the very smell of a cucumber made me sick. Heaven forbid I taste one. Let me get one in a bit of sushi or something like that if you want to see some drama. Because anytime I go to order sushi, I'll ask if there's cucumbers that are supposed to be in a roll or something. I ask specifically, can I get this without the cucumber? Usually it's, yeah, no problem. Heaven forbid they forget or they screw up and I get cucumber in my mouth. It is not a good day at the sushi restaurant. I will show my ass real quick and I try really hard not to do that. I know people are working hard trying to do things. I am level-headed as I can be. Do not put a cucumber in my sushi, especially when I make it very clear that I do not want cucumber in my sushi. This is one of those times where I really miss that story time series that WWE used to have on the network because this would be perfect for one of those episodes. But finally, the mystery has been solved. Now, if only one of his WrestleMania opponents knew how traumatizing those cucumbers were, they could have thrown one at him, rolled him up and pinned him, and they could have ended the streak years ago. 